In identifying the personal skills and improving them can help you contribute to your long term success. Welcome to Educational Program. And today we'll be talking about developing a personality to achieve your career. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. And I am your ever exciting host, Emedibo Miracle. What are personal development skills? Personal development skills are specific qualities and abilities that enable you to grow both personally and professionally. These skills can increase your potentials, help you navigate difficult situations, and aid you to achieving your career. It is important to note that developing your skills is not one day event. Like when you want to develop your skills, it's not one time event. The development of these skills is a continuous process and takes place as you encounter new responsibilities. The development of these skills is a continued process and it takes place as you encounter new responsibilities, people, and situations. As you gain more professionals and people experiences, your skills develop and you become more empathetic, confident, and flexible. Why are personal development skills important? One, it advances in career goals. It creates personal goals and objectives. It improves strength and talent, finds situation and fulfill in work and life, develop fulfillment in relationship, understanding yourself and develop self-awareness. It improves charity and scope and focus, finds motivation to excel, build resilience in tough situations. One example of personal development skills is integrity. Integrity is doing what is morally correct. Regardless of the situation, you aim to do what is correct, you aim to do what's right, regardless of the situation, regardless if the situation is bad, regardless if it is difficult. It is when your actions are consistent with your commitment and word. Like you say a thing and no matter what, you follow that thing. No matter what, you won't go back. You are always honest. So integrity is, is honesty. Whether you have this integrity, people will be able to look up to you, people will be able to trust you, and people will, will be able to rely on you. Number two, we have communication. Communication includes your ability to write, your ability to speak, and your ability to listen. It involves expressing your thoughts, emotions, ideas to others clearly. Most people, they don't know how to communicate. Like, during the process of communication, it's very difficult for them. Some of them, they don't even know what to say. Why? Because they have not grown in their communication skills. A good communicator use a positive tone, make eye content, speak confidently with stating their options or opinion. Being a good communicator or good listener, it can help one build strong personality and professional relationship. Like when you are a good communicator, You'll be able to speak with professors, with people on high classes, and there they will see that, ah, this girl is excellent. There they will see that, yeah, she knows what she's talking about. Three, we have interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills, social skills, and people skills are verbal and non-verbal cues and behavior that are, that's one displays while interacting with others. Like, this is verbal and non-verbal. You display it by interacting with others. Most people, they don't know how to interact with others. Most of them, they are too lousy. Like when they are talking, they are just shouting. Everybody is just hearing their voice. They just want everybody to know, yes, they are speaking. No, that's a wrong way to interact. When interacting with somebody, you, you make your point clearly. You make them understand, ah, what is this guy saying? You make them understand what you are saying. These skills can help you build strong personal, professional relationship with others. Strong interpersonal skills can help individuals understand family, co-workers, friends, and clients, and it can help you in a better situation. A personal skill can help one build one's professional network. Then we have organizational skills. Organizational skills include physical and digital organizational planning. Like when you have organizational skills, you'll be able to plan very well. You'll be able to plan your time. You, you can utilize your time. You can utilize your energy, mental capacity, fiscal resources. During the process of utilizing this stuff, it won't be difficult for you and it won't be stressful. That's why you see an independent woman. She will be able to take care of her kids. She'll be able to take care of her husband. She'll be able to take care of her work. She'll be able to take care of her family activities. 
and she will be doing excellently well. When you have these organizational skills, there's nothing that will be difficult for you. You can you can do absolutely everything because you have already put everything in order. You have it planned out. You have it written down. And with all this, it's very easy for you. Then the other one is confidence. This is my favorite skill. Confidence is the conviction that you can succeed at something and do it well. Yeah, most people lack confidence. It's, it's very difficult to be able to look at where you are heading to um, and say to yourself, yes, I can do it. Especially when that place or when that position is becoming very difficult. For instance, you working as a banker and you want to be a bank manager. It's confidence to, this is your confidence that you will build that will help you to reach that aim. Because you can't just stand up tomorrow and say, I want to be a bank manager. No, you have to build your confidence first to be able to look into the people's eyes, to be able to tell the, the, the owner of this bank that, yes, I can be a bank manager. Then we have problem solving. Problem solving skills are the ability to correctly identify the nature of the problem. Yeah, when you can identify the nature of the challenge and you'll be able to solve it. Good problem solving skills are essential to help one take the right decisions. When you have these solving skills, you'll be able to take the right decisions. You'll be able, you know, yeah, this is where I am going to, and this is the problem I am facing, and this is the way I am supposed to. We have leadership. Leadership skills are the professional abilities to, leadership skills are professional abilities to oversee, guide, supervise things, employees, to achieve organizational goals. These leadership skills are acquired by managers, executives, and higher top people to help them make meaningful decisions, to help them take actionable steps and allocate resources effectively. People that acquire these leadership skills are executives, those people that, yes, I am a leader, I am supposed to do more. I am a leader and I need to acquire, you can't just come out in day, they both like and say, I am a leader. And you have to acquire these leadership skills before you can be able to address people, before you can be able to address executives like you or managers like you. Good leaders also know how to offer appropriate feedback in their teamwork. Yeah. When you, you, you tell them, sir, there's a problem occurring in the office, you say, okay, I'll get back to you. And if he gets back to you, he's able to solve it. He's able to give you the right answer that you are looking for. Adaptability. Adaptability enables an individual to adjust or make changes in one action in an environment. Adaptability, when you, it helps you to adapt in any position that you are being placed on. Maybe you are a manager and they, are, they gave you an a higher top position. It can help you to adapt to it. They have empathy. Empathy is an important skill for individuals to lead and succeed in both their professional and personal lives. It is the ability to connect with others and understand the perspective and feelings of those around them. Yeah, you get to understand the feelings of other people and you get to help them. You get to motivate them. Yeah, empathy. People that acquire empathy skills, yeah, I see them as the brave kind of people because. They are able to speak to other people. They are able to tell you your challenges. They are able to help you to face that challenges. They are able to say to themselves, okay, where am I going to help this person? Which way am I going to improve in that person's life? Developing personal skills help an individual to excel and make you, this can help you build emotional connection with other people and create a meaningful relationship in your personal and professional life. Developing personal skills help an individual to excel and make you different from your peers. When you develop these skills, you become different from other people and your work becomes unique and everything you do becomes excellent. That's all for today's episode. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. And if you have any comments, just drop it on our comment section. We'll see you in our next video. And don't forget, I'm your favorite presenter, Emegibo Miracle. Bye. Thank you.